I've never seen this before. Look at this. She bugs out. She does not like that I'm invisible. Everybody has heard of the AFK Quake build. A lot of people have heard of this AFK Quake build. I took the AFK Quake build and then I modified it a little bit. And I made it really, really cool. It's using the interaction from this new chess piece, the Shrouds of False Death. Downside to this is that you're going to lose a little bit of your resistances. But I cleared tier 100 with this and the pits. I'm also running, I'm not running lock rins. So I took a regular amulet so that I could run 45% damage reduction here. For what's making, I just rebuilt the D2R throw barb to celebrate mighty throw. Nice. I actually don't even know what that is. But if you, Frosty, if you have it, post it in Discord so I can see it. I would love to see it. So this build right here, the runes that we're running, uh, if we're going to make it an AFK build, we're going to take Lith. We're going to put Lith here. And Lith is going to be paired with Yam. So that every six seconds, we proc the Druid Petrify. What we're going to do that is very unique to this build and the setup that I have here is we're going to run Zol, invoke a power from another class. The class that we're relying on is not the Druid. It's actually going to be the Rogue. And I'll even take this off so we can see it first. So when you put in your Zol rune, which is over here, so right here, Zol, we're going to run Tech. So Tech is going to give us Earthquakes. And for some reason... Zol makes the earthquakes for the barbarian massive. You hear them going off right now? But that's because we're invoking power from another class, even though I have no other runes in. Hey, friendly. So now my Zol is actually activating and working without having to have anything else in conjunction whatsoever. There's our sub points for everybody. So how this is working here, and the crazy interactions that this is doing, is I'm stealthed, and I'm constantly in stealth. The earthquakes are absolutely massive. This stealth right here is what's causing your Zol rune to proc. Because I'm invoking a power from another class, stealth, Zol rune goes off like crazy. This probably won't work when the server goes live, but right now, it is so much fun. We just went and did a Lilith test, and I'll, I'll go, I'm gonna go back there and show everybody real quick, just that everybody that's new here, uh, so you guys can see this here. And lost it all, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Okay. Thanks for the subscribe. So we're gonna go do Lilith. I'm going to show you exactly what this does. But we're not going to touch a single key. Now, you've seen the AFK builds before. Uh, I'm sure if anybody's talking about a barbarian, they've seen what the AFK build does. This is way different. Hey, Bagel. Okay, so we're going to get some Fury. We're going to run in. And when we get up to Lilith, Lilith is going to just appear. She has no idea what's going on. She's not going to start attacking whatsoever. She just stands there. Nothing at all. Not a single thing. Yep. So now she's dead. <laughs> Prodigy? Yes. 100%. 100% broke the game. So now we're going to get some more Fury back. Hey, thank you so much, Unsensible. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man, that is so generous. Thank you very much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot we're fighting Lilith. I, did you guys notice that? 
Yeah, no, I appreciate it very much. It means a lot. Okay, so now, here's the funny part. She doesn't know I'm here, so she doesn't start her next phase. Yeah, nope, I'm sensible. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you. That is incredibly generous. I thank you so much. So how do we solve this issue, right? Now I have to come out of stealth. So I come out of stealth here. She's down. We're doing some damage. I'm out of stealth. Now she's going to fly up into the air, right? That's interesting. This has never happened before. So this is completely new. She's doing... I've never seen this before. Look at this. She bugs out. She does not like that I'm invisible. She's cutting platforms that aren't even being cut. Like, look at this. Let's just hang out. Let's just, let's just wait right here. We'll just, we'll just hang out. I don't really feel like running around. It's too much of a chore. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Level cap is level 60 now, and the, this is the PTR ICB. So I'm on the public test realm. I'm currently testing, um... <laughs> currently testing uh, some of the builds and stuff that are on the PTR right now. Oh, but then she bugs out, and then she just stands, and I just, and I actually don't even have any, um, any Fury. So if I actually had Fury, that's what happens. So when you have Fury, you do a lot more damage because Ramaladnis kicks in. But Lilith also has no idea that I'm here. So we'll wait for phase two. We'll keep some Fury. And then she bugs out. She bugs out here. But she has no idea where I am. She's not going to start moving. She's not going to start attacking at all. As my Fury drops, so, like, literally nothing. She has no idea that I'm even here. And it'll stay like this until I pop out of stealth. So I actually have to pop out of stealth in order for this to progress into the next phase. And then she's going to freak out. Okay, so now she does her thing. Like normal, she cuts a platform. Then you just run around. I'm back in stealth, so she doesn't really know what's going on. Now, she cuts this platform, which she's not supposed to do. She's actually supposed to fly up in the air and then fly over here. She's never done that before. Yeah, so this is this is my stealth quake build. So I, I, I'm going to try this again because I've never actually gotten into past that phase with all of the flying uh, shards around. I'm going to try this again. But when you watch any of the other Quake builds, their Earthquakes are not this big. And I don't know why it makes them so much bigger. But, but yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so we're going to try this out. Hold on. Let's, let's go in and let's, let's try it out. Let's, I'm going to try this again. Ninja Stealth Quake. I need to keep my Fury up as I'm going. Okay, so now let's go back into Stealth. He's going to just land. She just appears out of nowhere. All of a sudden, she's there. I gotta let all my stuff build up slowly. And then we'll just let her slowly whittle herself down. And then she's gonna die. And then, then we'll just go back over here where she's gonna spawn again. I just want- I have to- I need my- my Frogger game on. I have to dodge all of this- these things here. Get some Fury back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. No, I haven't tried in PvP yet. But I want to see what happens when I get to this next phase here. So we're going to let her die. You know what I should do? I should put on the one where you stand still and it casts Petrify. Because then I would actually get the damage, extra damage from Petrify if just from standing still as well. This one is my cast skill one, but this is not... I wasn't even set up to do with AFK build at all. Alright, so now we're going to spawn her and we'll... Okay. So then we'll go over here. She's going to freak out, cut the platform. We're going to attempt 
to, let's see. So she's gonna cut this here. Okay. Go. Go, 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 go. What's she doing? What's she doing now? She's gonna cut the platform again. Look at this. She cut the platform again. Oh, it, it did it. She did it. Yep. She's cutting all three. I skipped the entire phase. You skip all of it. This is crazy. This is so funny. So, this is amazing. This is so much fun. All of the bosses, I've gone through and done every other boss except for Andariel because Andariel has the the three pillars that pro that go out. Every other boss, they don't even know you're there. So, with the brand new builds and all of the way that the Paragons look now. So, Paragon boards have changed dramatically. You can only have five boards total. And they added a brand new board for Barbarians. It's called... Uh, wait, that's not it. It's called Force of Nature. Your Earthquakes have a 75% chance to spawn Dust Devils. So, now, my Earthquakes, which I'm spawning constantly, are now creating... Or dust devils 